My name is Apollo. I used to be a god. In my 4,612 years, I have done many things. I inflicted a plague on the Greeks who besieged Troy. I blessed Babe Ruth with three home runs in Game 4 of the 1926 World Series. I visited my wrath upon Britney Spears at the 2007 MTV Video Music Awards. But in all my immortal life, I never before crash-landed in a dumpster. I'm not even sure how it happened. I simply woke up falling. Skyscrapers spiraled in and out of view, flames streamed off my body. I tried to fly. I tried to change into a cloud or teleport across the world or do a hundred other things that should have been easy for me. But I just kept falling. I plunged into a narrow canyon between two buildings and bam. Is anything sadder than the sound of a god hitting a pile of garbage bags? I lay groaning and aching in the open dumpster. My nostrils burned with the stench of rancid bologna and used diapers. My ribs felt broken, though that shouldn't have been possible. My mind stewed in confusion, but one memory floated to the surface. The voice of my father, Zeus. Your fault. Your punishment. I realized what had happened to me, and I sobbed in despair. Even for a god of poetry such as myself, it is difficult to describe how I felt. How could you, a mere mortal, possibly understand? Imagine being stripped of your clothes, then blasted with a fire hose in front of a laughing crowd. Imagine the ice-cold water filling your mouth and lungs, the pressure bruising your skin, turning your joints to putty. Imagine feeling helpless, ashamed, completely vulnerable, publicly and brutally stripped of everything that makes you, you. My humiliation was worse than that. Your fault. Zeus's voice rang in my head. No! I cried miserably. No, it wasn't! Please! Nobody answered. On either side of me, rusty fire escapes zigzagged up brick walls. Above, the winter sky was gray and unforgiving. I tried to remember the details of my sentencing. Had my father told me how long this punishment would last? What was I supposed to do to regain his favor? My memory was too fuzzy. I could barely recall what Zeus looked like, much less why he'd decided to toss me to Earth. There'd been a war with the giants, I thought. The gods had been caught off guard, embarrassed, almost defeated. The only thing I knew for certain, my punishment was unfair. Zeus needed someone to blame, so of course he'd picked the handsomest, most talented, most popular god in the pantheon. Me. I lay in the garbage, staring at the label inside the dumpster lid. For pickup, call 1555-STENCHY. Zeus will reconsider, I told myself. He's just trying to scare me. Any moment, he will yank me back to Olympus and let me off with a warning. Yes. My voice sounded hollow and desperate. Yes, that's it. I tried to move. I wanted to be on my feet when Zeus came to apologize. My ribs throbbed. My stomach clenched. I clawed the rim of the dumpster and managed to drag myself over the side. I toppled out and landed on my shoulder, which made a cracking sound against the asphalt. I whimpered through the pain. Stand up. Stand up. Getting to my feet was not easy. My head spun. I almost passed out from the effort. I stood in a dead-end alley. About fifty feet away, the only exit opened onto a street with grimy storefronts for a bail bondsman's office and a pawn shop. I was somewhere on the west side of Manhattan, I guessed. Or perhaps Crown Heights in Brooklyn. Zeus must have been really angry with me. I inspected my new body. I appeared to be a teenaged Caucasian male 
clad in sneakers, blue jeans, and a green polo shirt. How utterly drab. I felt sick, weak, and so, so human. I will never understand how you mortals tolerate it. You live your entire life trapped in a sack of meat, unable to enjoy simple pleasures like changing into a hummingbird or dissolving into pure light. And now, heavens help me, I was one of you. Just another meat sack. Another meat sack. <laughs>